my lad. Half his week's pocket money there and all. Is, is that a fact? I hold his own idea too. Well, now, I like to see a bit of that in the young folks. I reckon he shows character. Ah, he's a good lad. It's coming on, isn't it? Oh, it is that. It'll take a bit of counting up too. Now, it'll be a nice little job for you then, won't it? Hey, honestly, to hear you talk, so anybody would think my life was just for one long holiday. Well, isn't it? If you keep on saying it, you'll have folks believing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet Len wouldn't mind changing places with you anyway, yeah, would you, you Len? Get me out of this if you don't mind, Luke. I trust you men to stick together. <laughs> hey, talking about holidays, I almost forgot to tell you. There was a letter from the brewer this afternoon's post saying it's all right about them two weeks. Well, of course it's all right. It was their idea, wasn't it? Oh, I know, but it was just confirming it, like. Well, it's just as well, isn't it? We've booked the hotel, you see. Torquay, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, what was the name of that hotel we wrote to? What hotel? You know, you tempt the letter. You ought to know which it was. You see, they couldn't take us at our usual place because of the short notice. Mm. But they very kindly gave us the name of this other place and said they could take us if we wrote quickly. Mm. It was a most unusual name. Now, what was Verdale. it? Verdale. That's it. The Hotel Verdale. Mind you, I'm very sorry and very disappointed they couldn't take us at the Excelsior after all these years. I'm sure it'll be all right at the other place if they recommended it. Have you got the new drying clothes you were talking about the other day? Oh. Because I think we're going to need them. This one just came apart in my hands. Well, I put them away, dear, in one of the drawers. Oh, well, if you tell me which one I go and get them. It's all right, except round and I'll bring it all back. Right. And how have we this evening, Mr. Fairclough? Well, much better having seen you, Concept. Oh, dear, that, Mr. Walker. Eh? Ah, uh, ah, oh, oh, oh. What's up with Jack? He looks as if he's lost a bob and found a tenner. Oh, hello. Hello, Harry, mate, Jack. Uh, oh, what's up with Jack? I think he's worried about his holiday. Uh, worried about his holiday? Well, not the holiday itself, exactly, but he's not too keen on someone coming to take over while he's away. It's someone from the brewery he's coming, isn't it? Yeah, Mr. Plummer. They want him to come and spend a few days here before Mr. and Mrs. Walker go away so they get used to the place. Mm. Apparently, he's been on a management course. Yeah, they're not trying to manage us, eh, then? Oh, I don't <laughs> think a bit of management will go far astray here. You tell him, and love. You tell him. You tell him, too. <laughs> hey, Billy, come here a minute. Corporal William Walker reporting for duty, sir. Now, there's no need to be so cheerful. Just pop down and shove that in the post for me, will you? Verdale Hotel talking. Hey, is this your holiday booking, Dad? Hey, for heaven's sake, pipe down. If your mother gets to know that I haven't posted that, she'll skin me alive. Oh, hey, I wouldn't like to be in your shoes if you're too late to get in. Hey, she'll think you've done it on purpose so you can go fishing up in Scotland. You've got no need to rub it in. I know quite well what she'll think. Oh, on, off you go. Thanks very much, lads. I'm, I'm very sorry to believe it. <laughs> no, I am honest. I, oh, you know what I mean, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on, you little Mickey. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah. Look, there, there, you think? Get down and look for me. Go on, out you go. You've had your whack now. Go on. Well, you're off at last, eh? Yeah, it looks like it. Not much option now to give me that, have I? Yeah. That's handsome piece right enough, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I've seen chaps leave here after 20 years, with less. <laughs> so you're off at last, eh? Are you happy about it? Wouldn't be going if I wasn't. No, I suppose not. <laughs> you know, you're leaving a good trade. There's a steady living for you here until you're 65, if you want it. Ah, well, I have thought about it, you know. And football won. <laughs> well, it's only natural, I suppose. It's a bit much asking you to look forward to 65 at your age, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what did your dad have to say about it for? Oh. I have quite a bit to say, as a matter of fact. He left it to me at the end, though. Ah, well, that means not a miss there, neither. If things go wrong, you only have yourself to blame, won't hmm. you? How did your mother take it? Hmm. Not so well, I'm afraid. They never do. You know, life's hard on mothers. They watch the little lads grow up in the way, and there they are, stuck with old faithfuls like me and your dad. <laughs> you know, I, I had a lad once, about your age. You know, I'm now a couple of years older. They were killed in Cyprus. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Aye. Well, you'll make it easy for your mother. We'd have had an hard time without him. Hey, now, think on. If you don't like the look of where you're off to, we'll try and squeeze you back in here somehow. Oh, well, thanks. Right. I remember that. You're home early, aren't you? I think it's you that's late. Is that the proper time? As far as I know. Mm. Oh, there's a parcel from Dennis. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, well. I'll open it while you finish getting tea ready. What are we having, by the way? I haven't thought about it yet. I was yeah. just getting the table ready. You'd better make up your mind and decide what we're having. I'm absolutely starving. Oh, here's something we can have for a start. What is it? Two tins of strained carrots from our Dennis for the baby. <laughs> You'd think we were starving it. Strained carrots at that age. 
And will you look at this? Well, it's very nice of Tennis, just the same. Oh, yes, his heart's in the right place. It's his head that lets him down. Well, that's something that can go in cold storage for a couple of years. Unless you want to play with it, of course. I was just having a look. Oh, yes, I noticed. You men, you just like kids. Oh, I don't know. Put it away, you can play with it after tea. Yes, very much. Yeah, and less cheek from you. I don't Sorry, like cheeky much. kids. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. It's, um, it's not going to be too easy for you when our Linda comes back. At least, not at first for a while. So, um, so why don't you come and live over here for a bit? But it's very nice of you to say that. Well, it's no trouble. All you've got to do is to move the cot over. And if you don't like the idea of the house being left empty, well, Dennis can go and sleep over there. I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. Well, why not? I don't see what's wrong with taking it easy for a bit. It's not what's wrong. It's just that we have to be able to manage by ourselves. Oh, well, as long as we know where we stand. Oh, come on. You know very well what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I do. I... We're very grateful for everything you do for us. But we can't let you do too much. It's not that. It's just that I've got my mind set on... You know what I am when I get set on something. You're right. Absolutely right. Oh, come on, let's get these string carrots <laughs> over, shall we? <laughs> oh, there you are. Close your eyes. What's all this about? Why, what is about? Close your eyes. Oh, all right. Oh, it runs out. Oh, really? There you are. Oh, where'd you get these? Oh, I paid for them, believe it or not. Well, aren't you going to say thank you? Well, of course, yes, thank you very much. You shouldn't have done it, you know, you can't afford it. I've been saving me Saturday penny, especially for all this. As a matter of fact, I had a small win. Oh, Tom, you've not been gambling again. Now, isn't that just like a woman? You buy some flowers and she says you haven't been gambling but again. You know very well what I mean. I had a little bet. If I'd had a bigger bet, I'd have won more, but I didn't. I had a little one. I thought Esther wouldn't like it, so I didn't. I'll put them with the others. But do you mean you got some? No, I've got some in the market, lunchtime. Calls to Newcastle. Oh, well, it was a nice thought. Thank you very much. Do my eyes deceive me, or have you set three places? Yeah, I've, uh, I've signed tea from work. Good for you. I like a bit of company. Yes, I thought you would. Make a nice change, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Male or female? Male. Oh, well. You can't have everything, I suppose. Oh, is it? Anyone I know? Do you remember Brian Foley? Brian Foley? Yes, of course I remember Brian Foley. You told me to say he's still at Arrington's. I've just said he was. Well, I don't believe it. Nobody any, ever stays anywhere that long. He must have been there 20 odd years. Well, what's the matter with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it, I suppose, if you can stand it. 20 years of that dump. Now, listen, Tom, you'll be here in a minute, and I'm not going to argue, but while he is here, I'd be very grateful if he didn't say anything at all like that. He happens to like working for Harrington. I don't believe it, but I'll take your word for it. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll nip round to the Rovers and get a couple of bottles just to help things along. Oh. On me, dear, on me. Oh, there he is now. All right, well, I'll slip around the back. You let the poor chap in, eh? Twenty years. Hello, Mr. Oh, come on in. Well, come on in. Tom's just slip back for a minute. He'll not be long. Well, I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Oh, well, it's very nice of you to come at all. Let's sit down, Oh, you? thanks. Uh, well, now, uh, does Tom Tom come in? Oh, yes, he's just gone out to get some beer in your honour. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, he's quite pleased, really. We haven't had anyone to see you since he came. I was... Well, I was a bit sorry for him all of a sudden. I don't think he can have many friends. You know, what I call real friends. Like, he must get pretty desperate at times, and lonely. I mean, he must have been desperate to come here in the first place. Coronation Street isn't exactly his idea of heaven. Well, any port in a storm, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Well, I I'll do my best, you know, but if he calls me an interfering pest and wants to throw me out... Oh, Tom's <laughs> not the throwing out kind. He's not a bad lad, you know. It's, it's just that he doesn't fit in. Hmm. Oh, Brian, don't take too much notice of anything you might say. He doesn't see things the same way as we do. Oh, I don't mind. No sticks and stones will break my bones and all that. <laughs> Hello. Hi, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, come and get some shoe polish. Shoe polish? What do I want shoe polish for? I'm oh, with you in a minute. I'm going to clean my shoes with What do you think I want it for? Mum will want to get that, you know. Yes, I know, but I want to start me back in tonight. Oh, I see. Right, well, no point in us both waiting. Mum wants a tin of pineapple, same as she got yesterday. Oh, what kind? Same as she got yesterday. Well, how do I know what she got yesterday? Well, I don't know. All you got to do is ask for a tin of pineapple, same as she got yesterday. Oh, all right. Sure you can manage? I think so. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Oh, hello, David. I'm sorry to keep hello, you, but there's some stuff coming. I was just going through it. Oh, it's all right. Well, you're going your way tomorrow, eh? Um, day after tomorrow. Oh, well, I could have sworn somebody said it was tomorrow. 
Still, you ought to know, oughtn't you? <laughs> Where are you going? At London Way. Well, I bet you're excited about that, aren't yes, you? Yes, I suppose I am. I'm a bit sorry to leave Coronation Street, mind. Aye, there's worse places than Coronation Street. Now, what can I get you? Um, no, a tin of shoe polish, please. Brown. Light brown or dark brown? Um, dark. What did your mother think about it? Oh, uh, I don't think she minds. Oh, she'll mind all right. But she'll get used to the idea if you keep writing to her. That's the main thing. And I know you will. There you are. Oh, and, um, a, a tin of... A tin of pineapples, like my mother got yesterday. Oh, dear, I think your mother had the last tin yesterday. Mm. I'll tell you what, I think some's come in with the stuff today. If you'll just hang on a minute, I'll go and see. Yes, right. Oh, well, well, if I don't, the captain of England, eh? Oh, I'll lay off. Give me a chance. Oh, you'll make it, boy, you'll make it. Don't worry. When you off? A couple of days, yet. Yeah. If it were me, I'd be off tomorrow. London's the right place to live, you know. What an old Coronation Street's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you kidding? Oh, as far as I'm concerned, you can stick Coronation Street, the old blooming lot of it. It's like being buried alive up here. Oh, well, uh, it's the job I'm going for. Oh, aye, right, but you wait till you get there. You haven't been around like I have, have you? Oh, there are places, you know, where you can actually live, believe it or not, and London is the best. Now, why don't you get a job down there? Oh, maybe I will at that. All right, well, if you do, let me know. I'll give you my address when I'm settled. Hey, I'll do that. Hey, why not come round tonight? We'll have a drink on it, eh? Hey, all right, I'll come round when I've done my packing. Hey, I wish I were back in. <laughs> I suppose Ivan said whether he was coming tonight, did he? Oh, he's gone to see Ivan, didn't he tell you? Oh, no, as a matter of fact, he didn't, but I guessed it was that. Oh, he goes around in the dream these days. I don't think he fully realises what's happened. He'll realise all right when he finds himself walking the floor at four in the morning, patting it on the back. <laughs> well, he's only got himself to blame, hasn't oh, he? Oh, true enough, true well, enough. Did you ask Mrs Tanner about Ivan? Ah, he's gone to see Linda. Ah, well, I said it would be that, didn't I? Well, he won't be any later than half past eight. Now, that's perfectly all right with us, isn't it, Jerry? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> How is she? Oh, she's all right. She's coming the old madam, I hear. That means she's back to normal again. You know, I do think they ought to let grandmas in. Obviously, they can't let the old street in, but after all, a grandma's a grandma, isn't she? Hey, lass, nobody will believe that you were his grandmother. Well, I don't feel like one, but I like to hear it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we mustn't forget to tell Ivan that we're going on holiday at the end of the month. Where are you going, if you don't mind me asking? Torquay. Uh, what was the name of that hotel again, Jack? Uh, Verdale. Yes, we're staying at the Hotel Verdale. Oh, and we are looking forward to it, aren't we, dear? <laughs> How's that of you it these days, huh? I don't seem to run into him very often. Well, you've heard about their engagement, I suppose. <laughs> Is there anybody that hasn't? No, I suppose not. Hey, excuse me mentioning it, love, you know, but uh, <laughs> we've had tea. Hey? How will you put cloth back on? Oh, dear, I don't know if I'm going to come in today. Well, I thought happened you were going to serve us all with second helpings. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Packing. Hmm? You started early, I see. No, I thought I might as well get it done. Well, don't think you're going to make a mess down here. I've just tidied. What have you got there? Um, some things out of my top drawer. Well, next time you can ask me. I suppose you made a mess upstairs, too. Yeah, well, um, I I'll just trot out to Mr. Tatlock. He said he'd lend me a case. There's no need to go borrowing cases from Mr. Tatlock. We've got plenty of cases of our own. Yeah, but, um, well, I, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Steady on, love. There's no need to go on at a lad like that, you know. Borrowing cases from Mr. Tatlock, what next? Now, look, love, if you're upset about the lad going away, why don't you say so and I've done with it? Oh, <laughs> What's going to happen to him? What's going to happen to him? Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen to him. He's going to go away and he's going to learn to stand on his own feet and he's going to do right well for himself. That's what's going to happen to him. <laughs> but he's too young to leave home. Fiddlesticks. You know, lots of young lads had to leave home during war and they never came back. How'd you have gone on if you'd have had to have left then, eh? Oh, I couldn't have stood that. No? Uh, but you would, same as a lot of other people had to do. You know, Ida, love, we've got a lot to be thankful. It isn't as if he's a, a fly benight and a lad full of daft ideas. He's a grand lad, is David. He's going to be a great credit to us. I suppose you're right, but... Oh, I wish it wasn't London. <laughs> London, Birmingham and Manchester, love. There's no difference these days. You, and, you know, you can, go, you can go astray just as much in Coronation Street as any other place. Come on, love. Let's have a little smile, eh? 
You don't want David to be worried about you while he's away, do you? No, of course not. No, of course you don't. Look, you go upstairs and help him pack his case. You know, he'll only make a mess of it if he does it himself. Uh, oh, you're right there. Look at these pyjamas. You know, he, he grew out of these three years ago, I ask you. Yeah, by the way, uh, don't forget to pack his travelling clock, will you? Oh, Frank, wasn't that a nice present? They must have thought of a lot of him at the works to give him that. And it isn't as if he's been there a long time. And the foreman said that if he wanted to come back, they'd find a place for him. And Frank, I want you to make it clear to him that if he does want to come back, that no one will think the worst of him. I will, love. And if anything should happen to hey, me... Hey, don't talk so daft. No, I mean it. <laughs> if anything should happen to me, promise me... You... I've never heard such silly talk in my life. No, but promise me all the same that you won't lose sight of him. Do you really think that I would lose sight of him? No. No, of course not. Oh, I'm being very silly tonight. I... But I can't help it, so you'll just have to put up with me. Ah, of course. Ah, where's our Kenneth? He's up in his room, love. Oh, he promised to get me some luggage labels. I bet he's forgotten. Kenneth? Yes? Did you get those luggage labels for our David? Uh, yes, they're in my briefcase, on the floor by the sideboard. Oh, thanks, love. The new briefcase by the floor, on the floor by the sideboard. Here we are. Oh, we just keep a lot of stuff in this briefcase. Oh, Frank. What's the matter, love? This paper from his briefcase, it's, it's about emigration. Emigration? To Australia. Yeah, there must be some mistake. Let's have a look. No, it's, it's out of his briefcase and it's about emigrating to Australia. Ah, steady on now. Let's have a look at it. Oh, Frank. Not both of them. I couldn't bear that. Not both of them. Help me one and two, Doreen. What have you got in chocolates? We've got some nice half-pound boxes that come in yesterday. They'll be fat to fresh then, won't they? For a present. Well, in a way. They're for me. I'm treating myself. Well, if you can't treat yourself, who can? <laughs> yeah, that's what I always say. Yeah, I'll have those. Can you change ten bars? I should think so. I don't seem to get treated much these days. Well, what's your boyfriend doing then? Well, I haven't really got one at the moment. Well, it's a bit sort of uncertain at the moment, if you know what I mean. Your day done? Oh, don't remind me, not for a week or two. I just thought it looked a bit different, that's all. No, I'm a bit off men at the moment. I'm going to spend the night with the telly. At least you can switch that off, which is more than you can do with our foreman. Well, he's the one from the rainforest factory, the one that put up the council once, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. President of the Wandering Hand Society. Always like that, is he? And worse. One minute he's putting his arm round you, saying what a good girl you are and all that lot. Next minute he's threatening to give you your cards. I'm about sick of it, I don't mind telling you. Well, why don't you get yourself another job? Mm, chance would be a fine thing. I'm looking out, though. I'll tell you what, if I hear of something, I'll let you know. Oh, would you? I don't think I can stand it much more, and that's a fact. Thanks so much for helping with the washing up, Brian. You really shouldn't have bothered. That's all right. Comes natural to a bachelor. Right of independence, eh? Well, I don't know. I suppose there aren't many men that don't help with the washing up these days. Well, I hope you'll excuse me. I promised to pop round and have a word with Mr. Tatlock. I'll not be long. All right. Well, I dare say we'll find something to talk about. Well, I'll, I'll leave you then. Uh, <coughs> well, how's Harrington's these days? Not too bad, thanks. Have one of these. Oh, eh? thanks very much. I don't suppose anyone there remembers me, do they? I only did a three-month stretch. Looks as if you're there for a lifer. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess I'm the only one left that was there when you were in. Mm. What about that old chap in accounts, though? Um, queer old bird he was, but he was always very nice to me. Now, what was his name? Uh, oh, Crabtree. Crabtree, that's yeah. right. Old Crabtree. Lucky old devil. I wouldn't say it was all lucky, no. Plenty of hard work, too. I oh, dare say, but what's the use of it? I've got to wait till you're 60 to enjoy it. I'm going to make my pile while I'm young enough to enjoy it. Well, I suppose you don't manage it. I'll manage it, don't you worry. Well, it's not me that's worrying, Tom. It's Esther. Oh, she's been talking, has she? Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't think she can stand much more. I you know? see, it's a put-up job. It was my, it was my idea. You're not blaming cheek, that's all I can say. All right, maybe I have, and, uh, well, you know, I don't like doing this sort of thing, but I wouldn't do it for anybody but Esther. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? No, it's not like that. At least, not the way you're thinking. And, you know, if you go on like this, you're, you're going to give her a nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown? No, it's on the cards. Uh, and, and I think you know it. Well, I don't ask her to worry, do I? Oh, how can she worry? Well, Tom, you're not a fool. Thanks very much. But sometimes you act like one. I mean, if you'd put half your brains and energy into a worthwhile job, maybe you'd a pile, major pile, as you call it. You'd certainly be a sight better off than you are now. I've tried more than once. It never works out. 
Anyway, what good's it done to you? 20 years at Tarrington's Lord. Oh, I know it's not a lot, but I'm happy enough. Well, I'm not all built the same, you know. All I ask is just to be left alone. Ah, and I dare say that's all Esther wants, too, if the truth were known. And now, look, Tom, your life's your own, and what you do with it's your business. But you've no right to expect Esther to see it your way, now, have you? Maybe not. Anyway, I've been thinking of clearing out for some time now. It's a dead enough dump, to say the least. Well, I think she'd rather you stayed. If, if only you could settle down. Well, I can't. There's an end to it. I see. Well, uh, you're definitely going, then. There's not much else I can do, is there? No, I don't think so in the circumstances. I'd rather tell her myself, if you don't mind. Well, of course, Tom. Uh, what are you going to do? Lord knows. Still, something's bound to turn up. There's a chap I know down in Camberwell now. He's after me. been going in with him for years. It's in the greyhound business. Knows his stuff too. What he doesn't know about greyhounds is nobody's business, I'll tell you. Oh, is that the evening paper you got there, Dad? Hi, I'm reading it. Oh, right, well, when you finish. Oh, if you don't mind waiting, then. No, of course not. I'm in no special rush. Oh, that was a little change. Beg your pardon? You didn't quite catch what you said. No, I said, well, you didn't, lad. What's wrong, Dad? What's wrong? You know very well what's wrong. I'm sorry, but I don't. All right, well, try thinking. Look, come on, out with it, Dad. I haven't a clue what you're on about. Oh, you haven't, haven't you? Well, I'll give you a clue, lad. Australia. Australia? What about Australia? I don't know how you can be so calm at a time like this and all. Why don't you show a bit more consideration to your mother? She's been here all morning weeping her eyes out while you've been up in your room dreaming about emigrating to Australia. Emigrating to Australia? Me? Aye, we've read those papers you had in your bag. Hey, but... Oh, you mean those. Oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? Where is she? You mean your mother? She's in the kitchen. Mom, could you come in here a minute, please? Don't talk to your mother anymore. She's had it up without you adding to it. Here we are, Mom. You do get some funny ideas, don't you? What do you mean, funny ideas? Well, if I'm thinking about emigrating to Australia, I shall say so right out. You mean you're not going? No, I'm not. Those papers are a chap at college. Didn't want them sent to his home, so he gave my address. He hasn't been in all week, so I've had to carry them around. Now are you satisfied? I know, mm. but, but, but I mean, Ken, look. Oh, uh, honestly, you're I a know, right pair. You I'm are sorry, a no Ken, mistake. I'm emigrated sorry, to Australia. I'm mm. Hey, I didn't see how he leave the premises. He usually gives me a nod on the way out. Well, as a matter of fact, he hasn't left the premises. Now, you mind it, Jack. Oh, go on with you. Len's a good pal of Harry's, aren't you, Len? I hope so, Jack, I hope so. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter at this stage, but as a matter of fact, they've gone into the small room. Oh, little see, oh, oh. They haven't, uh, sort of worked out the date yet, have they? No. Oh, no, I don't think it's that. Well, in fact, I'm sure it is. Oh, just a little chat, Len. You know. Aye, aye. I'm a bit slow on the uptake tonight, don't I? Hey, I don't know what you mean, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that David Barlow with our bill? Ah, that's right. Where is it he's going? Oh, it's the uh, sink division team, so oh, somewhere near London, I don't know. Well, all I hope is that he knows what he's doing, that's uh, all. How do you mean, Annie? Well, football's all very well as a pastime, but when it comes to throwing up a good trade for it, well, in my opinion, that's going too far. You see, Len, they don't understand. They just don't understand. Same again. Oh. Uh, yes, and another thing, I think he's far too young to leave home. Isn't he? Well, our Billy was no older than him when he was out in Hong Kong. Maybe, but I didn't say I agreed with it, did I? It's his mother I feel sorry for. My Mind you, there's one thing I really am thankful for, that our Billy settled in a good, steady job. And I'll tell you another thing, all that travelling, it made him appreciate what he was coming back to. No, but it's not as bad as all that. Oh, I can't stand much more of it, that's a fact. I tell you, between you and me, there's something I've been thinking of having a go at. Our boss's son is starting a garage down in Chiswick, you see, and he need a mate. There's not much chance, mind you. But if I thought the boss would let me go, I'd be off like a shot, I would. Off like a shot. Mm -hmm.